So we're real working on the skills to um, assignment and the first tutorial tutorial is labeled viewport meta tag experiment and in this in this tutorial we are actually not going to write any code we're going to look at the effect of some code that's been with us uh, for all of our pages and that code is this viewport meta tag what we're going to do is we're going to get a good look at the effect of that tag. So, and to do that, we're just going to look at it with the tag and look at it without the tag. So it's really just an experiment. We're going to take a screenshot of each of the views and we will add those screenshots to the images. So all that's going to be checked here is just a screenshot. So looking at the directions, um, you know, you can... Um, Try out what's. We're basically, if you look at this W3 schools write up, they are um, giving you kind of the same instructions that we would be doing in, that we are going to be doing in this exercise. And so we're going to end up with screenshots that look similar to this. But I want you to experience it yourself so that you really have a good feel for what the importance of this tag. And it's all about responsive uh, website. And, um, and so we're going to be using a tool uh, in Chrome DevTools. We're going to be using a certain, one of their tools to be able to view our page in different, as, as it would be in different devices. And so specifically, we'll take a look at it in a, in a smartphone size device, like a Pixel 2. And then we will see the effect of looking at that page on a phone with and without the viewport and then we'll take some screenshots as we do that. So to, to do all this, um, and there's a couple of notes down here if you are using a Mac, a Command Shift 4 will give, help you get a screenshot. Windows has a snipping tool and a control print screen. You can get a Chrome extension that allows you to create annotated screenshots. But for this purpose, um, you might want to practice if you haven't made screenshots. But uh, what we're going to do is just open up our index HTML. We're not going to write any code there. And we can see here it's it's on the kind of full size laptop size. We're going to right click and inspect to go to Chrome Dev Tools. Find this icon here, the toggle device toolbar, and click on it. And it'll turn blue when it's on. And you can pull this down and notice what you see. So when we have uh, a full screen. So if I unclick it, we have a photo and then we have this text and it's kind of spread out. And then when we go to the to the to the pixel, it it lines up underneath it. So uh, let's just quickly take a look what happens if we take the viewport out. So if I take the viewport out, I'm just going to use command slash control slash on Windows to take the viewport out. And look, all of a sudden, uh, you can't really read the whole thing. It, it hasn't resized to the viewport. So it, it's, it's not going to be something that you could really share on a, on a smaller device. So that's the importance of the viewport. So let's just take some photos. And just looking at this, you can see I've got it set at pixel 2. It's at 48%. I could put that at 100%. I think 48% kind of, let's say 50% kind of shows better what's happening. Um, you could try different, so, you know, you might want to experiment and just see what happens with these different phone sizes. There's also tablets. And this is something that you're going to get a lot of use out of. So it's good to know, just a toggle there. So, um, so the iPad is going to try to maintain that size, but as we go into phone size, it changes. So let's refresh that. And right now we have it like commented out. So let's take a screenshot. I'm just using Command F4. And I can grab the, the device on there. And my um, screenshots go to my desktop. So let's let's get the second screenshot, which will be I'm gonna go back and uncomment the viewport and take a screenshot of that. So my second, my most recent screenshot is with the viewport. 
So to save this, I'll just go to my desktop and find those screenshots. And I'm here, let's see, I'm actually at May 13th. Okay, so the most recent one right here was with the viewport. So I will rename this to with viewport PNG. And then this screenshot was without viewport. Without viewport PNG. And I will just take those two screenshots and find my project. So I'm over in Skills 1, Images, and I'm just going to paste those in there. So that's the only thing that you need to turn in for this. But the real point of it, of course, is to um, is to get an idea of what the effect of this viewport. It help you remember its importance. It's setting, um, it's telling it set the initial scale to one, and that the width is the device width. And without it, you will see a, 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 you won't get your your responsive effects. So let's go ahead and push those. Get status. Get add dot. Get commit. Um, And so, um, like for grading, I mean, we'll just be looking in this image directory for a couple of pictures that show that you got got to see that effect. All right, that is the first tutorial.